Okay guys, let's take another look at automations. Open the shortcuts app, then go to the automations tab. Look at my automations that I already have. I'll delete the automation I created last night. Swipe in from the right to delete, then hit the plus button to add a new one and click create personal automation. Scroll down and select open app. Now click choose. Scroll down and select any apps that you want to trigger this automation. Here I select two apps. I scroll down and then select two more. And then another one. These five apps will now trigger the automation. Click next, click add action, select scripting. Scroll down. Select do not disturb. Turn it on until turned off. Hit the plus button again. Scroll down. Choose airplane mode and then hit the plus button. Select Wi-Fi and turn on. This will let you next. access your resources. Now let's look at some other automations I use daily. We'll look at my 517 alarm. This one runs at a specific time versus on opening an app or an event. This automation runs my word of the day shortcut. Now we'll look at the word of the day shortcut, so head over to the shortcuts tab. Here you can see all of my very useful shortcuts. Some come from the gallery, some come from the gallery and are edited, and some are created from scratch by me. Spend some time browsing the gallery, there are a lot of useful shortcuts. Because I have so many and shot it live, I'm browsing for my word of the day shortcut. Click the three dots to edit or browse your shortcut. This word collects 110 words from the Webster Dictionary and then randomly chooses one. Go back to your Automations tab. Let's view another automation. This automation posts a random article from Fox News. Very trustworthy. Now let's view a complex automation with shortcuts, pictures, variables, and more. Let's take a look at the image of the day shortcut. Click the three dots to open it. Now we're only collecting one image from NASA versus 110 words from the Webster Dictionary. We'll reopen the complex automation and look at the next steps in the process. The where was this taken shortcut never works. I mean space is huge after all. The text never gets added to the variable either. The where was this taken shortcut can be got directly from the gallery. The where was this taken shortcut is a very complex shortcut and uses if statements and has a lot of parts to it. It's a very powerful shortcut if you take a lot of photos and want to add location info. Get it in the gallery. You could do very powerful things with the shortcuts app. Now go back to the automations tab and we'll view the complex automation again. We'll scroll down and notice we try to add text but it never gets added when we post it to Facebook unfortunately. And let's run this automation. Now the process is running to collect the image from NASA. And we're collecting the image to store into a variable or into our clipboard. Unfortunately, there's never location info. And we'll need to add some text since none gets added automatically to give it a little bit of context. And it's that simple, it's done.